is CNBC's Business Center. The final word on Wall Street with Ron Insona and Sue Guerrero. Meantime, Bob Pisani spent his day on the trading floor at the NYSE. You must be exhausted, Robert. Oh, What's Sue, on Trader Talk? I miss you down here. We miss you a lot here. The Dow rallied over 340 points late in the day, and much of that late-day activity was attributed to hedge funds covering their short positions. Now, hedge funds are investment companies that can go long and short stocks at the same time. How active are hedge funds in this market? Let's ask Charles Cordante. He's the head of the Hennessy Group, who talks to dozens of hedge funds every day because he's an advisor for investors in hedge funds. So, Charles, what was going on here late in the day? Were hedge funds active? What were they doing? Early in the day, hedge funds were shorting Dow stocks. When the Dow got near the support level of 9,000, they started covering shorts. So the bottom line, and a short is a bet that the market, the stock will be we'll, going, we'll down. going down. They covered their shorts. This is bullish, right? I mean, what, well, what I wouldn't were they call thinking? It, I wouldn't call it bullish. I would say that they started recognizing that shorting uh, the Dow stocks became the trade du jour. They started seeing value managers shorting tech stocks, value managers shorting the diamonds, and they felt that has gotten overdone. So they started covering shorts to step back and take a look at what's really happening in this market. I wouldn't call it bullish. Talk, there, there's so much talk about looking for a bottom here. Hedge funds pride themselves on trying to get out in front of all of the investors. What are the hedge fund people looking for right now? Right now, hedge funds are looking for two things. On Dow stocks, they're looking for top line growth. And of course, on tech stocks, they're looking for some earnings visibility. Do you think we're going to see that anytime soon? I don't have any visibility on that, but, but uh, the, my discussions with hedge fund managers are that uh, they're not making that kind of prediction. They're just going with the flow of the market. That's the name of their game. You know, I, I, we sit here, down here every day. We do about a billion, a billion, two shares of the New York Stock Exchange. What percentage of the volume down here do you think these hedge funds account for? Our research indicates, and it's, and it's, it's really obscure research, but it's, it's about 10% on normal trading days. Uh, on active days, it could be as high as 20, 30 percent. So they can be a very big influence in the market. They can be an influence directly and indirectly because hedge funds are also herd funds. When people start seeing what they're doing, word gets around the street, and people follow along with what, what they're doing. They're making. And that's why we need to follow hedge funds, folks. That's the important thing here. Thank you, Charles. Our Thank guest you, tonight Bob. has been Charles Gradanti, principal in the Hennessy Group. Back to you, Sue.